how to prepare for manifesting what you need to do first. Today you will understand how to get into the right frequency for successful manifestation. You are going to discover how taking time away from your business leads to greater business success. Welcome to the Manifest Business Success Challenge. This is day number one, which is all about peace. So during each day of the challenge, we are going to go deeper into each step of these steps to manifestation. And if you haven't already joined the challenge, you can sign up for the complete videos, daily email reminders and workbooks at manifestbusinesssuccess.com. My name is Kath Kyle and I help content creators and change makers manifest business success through spirituality, self-belief and strategy. I help you master your marketing, manifestation and money mindset. I want to ask you a question. Are you currently feeling overworked and exhausted? Are you seeing little results for all of the efforts that you're putting into your business? And are you not currently having very much fun in your life? Are you feeling overwhelmed by the demands of life and your business? I totally understand. I have completely been there myself and this is exactly what I am going to help you with today. So I want to hear from you. Let me know what you are currently struggling with and either leave a comment on my blog, on my YouTube channel or send me a DM on Instagram and I can't wait to hear from you. So do you want to feel this way instead? Do you want to enjoy your life and your work? Do you want to feel excited and raring to go? Do you want to feel calm and peaceful as you go about your day? And do you want to work less hours and have more fun? So this is what I'm going to help you with today. This is a concept that I call the happy habit hobby date. And this is a date that you actually make with yourself every day to do something that you really enjoy. And there are so many benefits of doing this. A study from San Francisco State University involving 350 people found that when people participate in hobbies, they often make work-related improvements, which is fantastic. Having hobbies actually forces you to be more productive at work. Having hobbies trains your brain to overcome obstacles. Hobbies help you to feel more patient and work towards long-term goals. Hobbies dramatically reduce your stress. And the happy habit hobby date is something that I cover in great detail in my course, The Dream Business Blueprint. But today I'm going to walk you through this as an overview because this is something that is really going to help you to enjoy your life and help you in your business as well. So the happy habit hobby date is something that you need to do on your own because if you involve someone else in the process, then if they don't do it, that means you don't do it. So you need to be able to control it. It doesn't mean to say that somebody can't join you, but you need to make sure that it is something that you can do on your own if necessary. And you need to be able to do this every single day without fail. You need to commit to this. Like this is the most important thing in your life. And I swear you will totally understand how your life will change once you start doing this and this needs to be something that is quite easy for you to do so that you can do it every single day. Hobbies, believe it or not, are actually one of the best ways to get ready for manifestation. Immediately after taking part in something you love is the very best time to begin a manifestation practice because your vibration is through the roof. So here are some examples of good hobbies that you could adopt. Let me walk you through 14 examples. You could start a hobby of reading. Reading is personally my favourite thing. I just adore reading. I am a bookworm. I will consume 
as many books in different forms as I possibly can and this is the thing that I do that this is the complaint that I make sometimes if I realize that I'm getting out of balance I haven't read a book in a while that is a sure sign for me that I am not pri prioritizing my own happiness in my life because I love reading so much what about walking there is something so therapeutic about walking. It is like a meditation, especially if you don't listen to anything at the same time. If you can find somewhere in nature, somewhere really beautiful and just walk and listen to the sound of nature, you will feel amazing. How about yoga? Maybe yoga is your thing. I always wanted to be somebody who was really good at yoga, but I'm just not very flexible at all. But there is one type of yoga that I absolutely love and that is kundalini yoga because I find that I don't need to be really flexible and I'm not like jumping up and down and, and all that kind of stuff all the time but I find it very meditative because it really gets me into a spiritual place so kundalini yoga is a really really good exercise to do before you manifest. How about meditation? Have you ever tried it before? Personally, I do struggle with meditation. I struggle. I feel a little bored sometimes if I've, if I've got to be honest, sitting there, but there's something so powerful about meditating. I always meditate for at least one minute because <laughs> I do get, believe it or not, I do get the benefits from one minute, but I'm not just um, sitting there for 20 minutes feeling like, oh, I just want to get on with my work or I just want to get on with my day, but I can I can relax if I know that it's just one minute and it really does help me to get into a state, a good state for manifestation. How about singing? Do you love to sing? Putting on your favourite music, something really uplifting and just singing your heart out is amazing for your mental health. How about having a a good dance session, putting on something upbeat and just having a good boogie in your room. When I was a, a teenager and a young adult, I just loved to put on my music full blast and just dance, dance, dance in front of the mirror and like I was in a club or something. And that was one of my favourite activities that I used to do that every single day. I used to spend at least one hour just dancing and jumping around my room. So this is a definitely a very high vibe activity. How about having a candlelit bath? This is something I definitely love to do in the winter, in the evening, after I've had a sauna. I have a portable sauna in my house, which is another good thing if you've got access to a sauna. And I have a sauna and then I have a candlelit bath. And I sometimes listen to a meditation at the same time. So it's just a, a really amazing process you can take yourself through. It feels so luxurious having a candlelit bath with some like essential oils in there as well. Um, how about doing some breath work? I went through very long periods of time where I was really into the Wim Hof technique where he has this amazing uh, breath work process and it after when, when you're kind of um, after you've done the breathing exercises he gets you to hold your breath and sometimes you can hold your breath for like two minutes straight and during those like two minutes of holding my breath I experienced some crazy amount of meditation. I just felt like I was on another planet drifting away. It was absolutely fantastic. The The feeling I never got from anything else and that's why I just loved Wim Hof breathing so much. I don't know why I stopped doing it but for some reason I'm not drawn to it at the moment but I did love it for a very long time. How about gardening? Is gardening your thing? This can be very, very meditative activity as well, working in nature as well. How about photography? This involves like looking at the details, really noticing things, being present in the moment. There's something so powerful about photography. You can also go out into nature. You can do your walking at the same time, experiencing the silence and listening to nature while you're taking photos. How about painting? Are you very arty? Are you into crafts? What about sitting there and making something artistic? Maybe that's really your cup of tea. How about running? I do running about three times a week. I run on the beach and it is fantastic. How about something like surfing? There's so many different e forms of exercise, pretty much all forms of exercise are something that makes a really good hobby as long as you can do them by yourself. So hopefully you've 
seen something in this list of 14 hobbies that you could implement starting tomorrow because why not let's just start having a great day tomorrow and something that would really excite you or something that you could just do for a very short period of time so now you might be thinking to yourself yes I would love to do hobbies but so you might have some objections to starting this for yourself so you might have some doubts about how good hobbies are for manifestation, but let me address those for you now. So are you thinking, yes, I would love to do a hobby, but I just don't have time. And if you don't have a spare 30 minutes to fit in a new hobby, why don't you try and do what I did and go to bed 30 minutes earlier and get up 30 minutes earlier and maybe try and do it first thing in the morning. Now, I understand that not everybody is a morning person and some people, if they go to bed 30 minutes earlier, they still might struggle to motivate themselves to get up and do something earlier in the morning. So maybe what you could do is just start with a simple one minute activity. Maybe just staying silent for one minute is a very powerful process. Do you know anyone who is successful and also has hobbies? If it works for them, it could also work for you. I know it is a struggle to try and fit these things in, but just start with one minute and just see how it goes. Literally go for a walk for one minute, set a timer 30 minutes out of the house, uh, 30 seconds out of the house, 30 minutes, 30 seconds back. And it sounds really silly, but it's just that whole act of I have taken control of my day and I have put myself first. Even if it's just for one minute, I still exist. I am important. I love myself, I care about myself. That is the message that you're sending to your brain, even just with one minute of activity. So what about if you are thinking, I don't believe this is going to help me manifest? And how do you know unless you actually try this? How do you know how you're actually going to feel? At the very least, you are going to feel happy, a sense of achievement. You're going to feel self-disciplined. You're going to feel cared for. Those alone are reasons to start a new happy hobby. Do you know anyone who seems to have a lot of fun in their life and just always seems to be lucky? These two go hand in hand. Happiness and luck are two and one of the same. What about if you are saying to yourself that I have too many other important things to do. Everything is more important than me and my happiness. I have to look after my kids. I have to look after my family. I'm a full-time student. I've got a full-time demanding job. I'm never out of the office. I'm always there. I do overtime. I work nights, etc., etc. But what is more important than putting your own health first? So this is about your mental health and also about your physical health. And you have to be so careful. I have had a burnout in the past because I have wor overworked. And at that, when, when I had that burnout, I literally couldn't do anything. I couldn't work and I couldn't take a uh, look after my kids because I was so debilitated by this health problem. I had chronic fatigue syndrome and I literally couldn't move. My body completely shut down. So I want to urge you to not get into the same situation as me. If you're feeling completely stressed and you just can't cope with your life, then this is all the more reason why you really need to take some time for yourself. Otherwise, you might not be able to do the things that you're currently doing in the future. How about if you were looking after a child, if you have children, you obviously want them to be balanced and happy, don't you? So why do you think that you are less important than a child? Why do you not put your health above your family's health, above the, the happiness of your boss or the, the workplace that you work for? For you to be a successful person who looks after other people or who does a job, you have to be in a good state mentally and also physically. So it is absolutely crucial that you put your health first. So how to prepare for manifesting? So let's talk about manifesting again. So before you start manifesting, you need to feel peaceful. Otherwise it's not going to work. To receive the intuition that is right for you, you have to be vibrating at the right frequency. 
And believe it or not, you are always manifesting constantly, but you want to make sure you manifest something positive rather than something negative. To do this, you have to do something that makes you happy. And the happy habit hobby date will get you into the right frequency. So what daily habit are you going to start this week? So now that you have learned how to get into the right vibration for manifestation, you might be wondering how to decide what to manifest for your dream business. And this is what I'm going to be sharing next time. So make sure you subscribe and follow me so you don't miss that. And you can get all 10 steps in the manifesting process by signing up to my free manifest business success challenge at manifestbusinesssuccess.com if you haven't already. And you can join the challenge while it's still free because I am in the process of turning this content into a book. So grab it while you can. So here are your next steps. While you are waiting for the next step in the manifestation process, you can start taking practical action in your business today. Get my free lesson where I walk you through my complete process of creating content that actually converts. This is part of my premium course, Dream Business Blueprint, and I'm only making this lesson free for a limited time because I'm testing different lessons. So go and grab that while it's still available and you can go to manifestbusinesssuccess.com to get your free constantly converting content lesson. And until then, go and put your stamp on the world.